Hello everybody, welcome back to Chinese brush painting <coughs> class. Um, I still having a little bit left over from the COVID, so I wear my uh, mask. And you can see I did uh, a horse mask today to uh, show you how to paint a horse. Hope that helps. Two kissing horse. Okay. This is looking straight to the front. I think it's more straight looking forward. Okay, and this big chest area. And this, this uh, uh, symbolizes the, the muscle in the front chest, shoulder, shoulder, and then the, the dark belly here. Yeah. It, this is uh, just on the on the uh, uh, drawing paper, so I can do anything with the, this uh, charcoal. And okay, this leg is kind of stretched like this. Okay, then this is bandaged backward, crossing a little bit. It's kind of hard to make a cross like that. Just be sure to do not hard cross, just void. There. And here is the the first horse, right? Okay, make the manes fine to indicate motion, right? That's one thing. And then this one, kissing. So you can just put this nose right away here. And then the eye. Looking. Just like that. And then ears, like this. Okay, the, what's that sound? <laughs> Xu Bei Hong's style of this. This is this two. Yeah, that's two. Kind of. And it. Yeah, you 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 have to draw first. Well, to. Just draw a big elbow over oh, there. Okay, that's my under and you just put a piece of uh, rice paper. That's not big enough. I uh, use a thing, uh, not a double shred this time. So you can see through mm -hmm. using a um, thin uh, 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 mobile paper. Okay. Yeah, this uh, I use surgical pa tape. Surgical tape is uh, not so stick, sticky. So I can easily remove it. Okay. Well, I may have to cut off the bottom. And then they have something. Yeah. You want to see my next demo? Yeah, okay. yeah. This one is two. Two, yeah. 
So you can, uh, I did the an underpainting on the backing paper, okay. So this is a, usually you do, you just do a good drawing first on a, any piece of paper and put it underneath it. And you can trace it with a pencil and then uh, take it out because it might stand the template. Maybe not, this, this one is the same size. Okay, just use a, I use a soft brush to start with. Okay, and uh, you can use a little color for the first one. We we'll use a little brown, maybe. Just a little brown color and a little bit ink to start with. Okay. I'll just use my uh, sketch reference. Yeah. And remember, we did uh, the uh, the belly, just a few uh, strokes like that, and then um, draw the top of this. You can make it more squish. You don't have to be round, perfectly round. There's a hip kind of. And then draw this uh, knee. Okay, yes. And then kind of the wrist, whatever, whatever that is. And then here, the front leg. He just do the shading, right? Something like that. And then use dark to outline. Okay. Use dark now. The two ears. And uh, a little hint of the other eye. Mm -hmm. And then big nose, jaw, a uh, chin, oh and uh, just like that. Yeah. And some dark. And now goes the the main down first. And dry brush. Short. Squeeze out that line. You can draw that line, but usually I just uh, use cutting the shape. Okay, the tail. Tail, just like your penny orchids. One. Phoenix eye, break that line, just like that, yeah. and then just spread out the, the fan out the brush. The brushes should be drier than orchid, of course. But here it should have more solid ink. Yeah. And then uh, draw this belly like that, with kind of <coughs> bleeding black blood. Again, okay, here the shoulder, shoulder, the shoulder, and just define those uh, bones. Okay. And uh, here is uh, <coughs> some hair, you know, usually. And that is uh, 
like this single toe, uh, what do you call this, a hoof, yeah, animal, just one nail, big uh, nail, actually, it's called hoof. The ox has two, a uh, sheep has two. Just around it. Some accent. And uh, you can always go back to the brown to do some color. Now we use cool color for the for the white horse, maybe the gray horse. <coughs> this one we use a little bit uh, blue in it, maybe just the blue and the ink to draw this. Uh, this one, very light. And the nose could be a little bit darker. Oops, and the eye. That uh, nose there, okay, <coughs> and then the, the neck. And to use a little bit more ink to do the shoulder, shoulder here, shoulder here. The, the chest, just like this, here, one, two, two muscles, there. and then, the, yeah, I, I've done hundreds of t-shirts, and straight, just like this, <laughs> and then I, I sell right away, before it gets dry, <laughs> $20 each, so it's easy money, right, yeah. that's uh, why I, um, I made, yeah, I, I, instead of washing dishes, I just uh, made a <laughs> summer job for, for <laughs> tiny t-shirts. Yeah. Like so these are my t-shirt designs on this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they can pick like a manual, which one they want, and just do it like this. So a little bit bluer. To do the the main and some tail showing through <laughs> there. Just use a color different shade to that, right? With the main on this and some main here. So they blow the same direction. Right? Okay. <laughs> In the same direction. Okay. The, okay. Some, some blue color in the ink. <coughs> Just shade it. Recently I studied a lot of uh, watercolors so my color gets more um, realistic. <laughs> more, more like a western yes. watercolor. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know cool and, uh, and uh, warm. Mm -hmm. This kind of contrast. Before I don't have any Knowledge about this, just you no know, dark and light. That's all I know.
And you can do some grass if you want to finish the, the ground with the uh, usually dry grass kind of uh, you can also if it's green you can use the green of course. So let's do some spring powder. Seasonal. Let me just And grass also, you know, indicates the motion, just like motion drawing. Well, you might think it's very childish, right? Yeah, that's uh, basically the Chinese painting is very childish. <laughs> It's a little thing. It's like a penny orchids, you know, just do some of the three um, crossing lines, that kind of thing. But keep it short. Yeah. And then just. Uh, uh, oh, I think this eye is not uh, defined. So, uh, kissing horns, I don't know what to say. Oh, Chen Yi Xiang Sui, following for thousand miles. Chen Yi Xiang Sui. Yeah, that's what I usually do. Okay. Following you for thousand miles. How about that? Yeah, that's my. I know, I can tell. <laughs> So I just say, Qian, Qian, Qian Li, thousand miles, Xiang mm -hmm. Sui, following. Okay, company. Co a company, yeah. Sui company. means following or com a company. Yeah, uh -huh. Accompany you for thousand miles. Well, that's good for marriage. Yeah, Present, yeah. <laughs> yeah. or for yeah. lovers, you know, for Valentine's. That's, uh, so horse is really um, easy <laughs> uh, oh, gift I idea. So. so you can use it for all occasions, old, young, all the different people. Chen Li Sui. This is the year of the dragon. And you can say spring. I think it's spring or something like early spring, whatever. <coughs> if I s have space, I can write, you know, the, uh, like a place of doing uh, did this or something like that. <coughs> so this uh, finish the description with the So that's the um, colored version. Warm, cool, and, uh, red, blue, and uh, yellow, basically. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, we can take a picture now. So that's uh, that's all the demos. I can. What's the two words above your name? Oh, Jia Chen Chun. Chun. Yeah. Chun. Spring. Oh, Chun. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Jia Chen is Nian. Nian, yeah. Year of the dragon. Spring. Chen. Even you have to travel.